she said the food wasn't really hitting. <laughs> Saturday so y'all just saw my little morning routine I am actually about to watch a little bit of TV and drink my coffee that y'all saw me make um today we're doing a spend the day with me vlog so super excited about that I am going to lunch with Keiko Keiko Beauty of course and um I'm super excited because we're going to the new five church here so there's a location in Midtown Keiko has been to that one and she said the food wasn't really hitting. So I'm excited to see how this one in Buckhead is going to be. So we're going at about 2. It's a little after 10. So again, about to drink my coffee, watch a little bit of TV. I'm definitely going to show you all like my outfit, all of that good stuff. Um, we're going to do our makeup because I do want to show you all some new stuff that I got. And yeah, I mean, we don't have much going on. The hubby and I may do something later when I get back. Not really sure. I'm trying to think what else I got going on today. Not much. I'm just taking y'all along for the ride with me today. So I did kind of share, I think I was talking about it on my Instagram saying that I kind of wanted to stick to day in the life vlogs just because I don't be doing that much y'all. So trying to put together like a weekly vlog or whatever is quite a bit for me. So I'm not doing just a ton. And personally, I like a certain type of vlog. And so I try to put out what I like to watch. I know that you all might be like, girl, we'll, we'll see the boring stuff. We're good with that. But I think for me, I like more entertaining vlogs. I like vlogs of people going out, doing stuff. So the ones just kind of in the house, those are cool. And I definitely watch a lot of those and support people. But that's like not my favorite. So I try to put out what I enjoy most. And um, travel vlogs. Now travel vlogs, those are different. Obviously travel vlogs, you're going to get more content. It's going to be, you know, over the course of several days. But for me, yeah, I just prefer um, the more like fun outings, hanging out with your girls, going on date night. You know, some, like some of the uh, fun ones that are like more chill are like organizing and, you know, decorating. Like those are all cool, but the real just chill that's not my favorite type and I know because my life is pretty chill I don't want to put too much of that out because to me that's a little bit boring so yeah so we're gonna do that today um and I gotta get these clothes out the dryer what's well, just tiles I need to get those out the dryer in a moment and yeah I'm just gonna chill out so again I'll pop back in with you all once I'm actually about to start getting ready and getting myself together because it's a little bit after 10 I'll probably start getting ready um a little bit before 12 it's not gonna take me too too long but yeah about an hour and a half is typically what I like to give myself to get ready so yeah I'll probably get ready around 12 so I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit so y'all we are back oh my hands are dry y'all just washed my face again my hands are dry but that's okay so I wanted to show y'all the moisturizer I've been using because I really do like it I still use my Clinique, but I use this one also now. So this is the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. So y'all saw me get this um, in Houston. So there we go. Yep, so the Summer Fridays. I'll have it linked down below. Um, I like this because it's like moisturizing, but again, it doesn't give like a, a greasy feel. So I do like that. Then... We're gonna do our brows now y'all lately i have not been filling my brows um i don't know um why but i just haven't been like filling them and let me try to see if i 
can give y'all a little more light. Hold on, y'all. Okay, that light is a little bit better. Yeah, a little bit better. So, yeah, I don't know if it's because of just how I've been having the ladies like just clean them up versus like really, really go in and arch. I don't know, but they're old now, so they're not gonna give what they normally would anyway. So we'll make do with what it is. But yeah, they just, I don't know, I'm debating if I wanna go back to using like pomade to get that really sculpted look. When I got my makeup done in Houston, I was trying to like get all the tips and tricks because I really wanna perfect my base. Like, I don't know, I just wanted to do something that it's not doing right now. I don't know if it's I just want that more like flawless look. I don't really know how to describe it, but basically I want my base to look more like beat. So I need to work on it. I did get some new brushes, just some elf brushes because I wanna try to start back applying most of my makeup, like my base products with a brush. So the makeup artist was saying a lot of times, you know, if you use a beauty blender, because it does soak up product, which we all know that, um, she was saying, you know, it just doesn't give that like clean look. Like, you know, when you get your makeup professionally done. And sometimes like there's a time and a place for looks, right? So like sometimes I don't want a real dramatic look, but then other times, if I know I wanna take a photo or whatever, I want it to give a little bit more. So we'll see what I can get it to do. I'm gonna finish up the brows, y'all, and then I'll come back so we can go ahead and start with the base. So the brows are done, so they look pretty good. Um, yeah, they look pretty good. So, for primer today, I'm gonna use two. So I'm gonna start with the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Primer. So let's go with that first. And then for second primer, we're gonna do Milk Hydro Grip, the grip primer. So, um, you know, I didn't look and see what the weather is today. It's like a little sunny, but also a little gloomy. I think it's probably gonna be like in the 80s, last I checked. So, um, y'all know me, I'm oily. So, this is just gonna help everything stay on so i was trying to figure out what foundation i wanted to use um i have the estee lauder double wear out um i guess i'm gonna do that one that's fine yeah mm, yeah i don't really want to do any of these other ones so let's do this okay so here is the brush that I got from e.l.f. So it's called the Ultimate Blending Brush. I called it a foundation brush um, because it does have kind of like that buffing tip to it. So you can just easily buff in the foundation. So that should be good. It's pretty soft, very dense. So let's get it on the back of my hand. Oh wow, why did I do that? Yeah. Okay, so about that much. And so, like I said, we're trying to perfect the base. So I'm gonna use the brush that's gonna help and we're gonna buff it in. This foundation is a little more neutral. So um, sometimes when I'm not like tanned, it can look like a little, a little darker on me. Sometimes I need more of a mixture between golden and neutral and some foundations do it some don't so this one is a little more neutral this foundation does give really good coverage because I do have some dark spots on that side and it just covered it right up and from using a brush I can tell a difference with the coverage y'all so that is why I'm saying I kind of want to just stick with the brush like sometimes like I said when I'm like just filming videos or whatever Sometimes it's okay to just use my beauty, beauty blender, but when I know I'm trying to go for a certain look, I just like the coverage that comes with applying with a brush a little bit better. So, cause yeah, it's just some flawless application to me 
with a brush and this brush is really good so i think it's like um six or seven dollars so some of the hairs are shedding but um that's fine i think that's good i'm not gonna apply any more i know some people may go back with the extra layer but i'm not gonna do that because i am gonna use two different concealers so yeah okay so that's the foundation so it looks pretty good like i said i feel like I definitely look like I have more coverage. And then I'm gonna go in first with my Old Faithful Cover FX Concealer and I'm just gonna place that in the corners. And then over here, and then in the corners as well. So we're gonna start with this concealer. This concealer is not like a super highlighting concealer, but it does what it needs to do. It gives really good coverage. So. We're gonna start with that and then I think for second concealer today, um, maybe Too Faced or should I do Hourglass? Hourglass is a little bit lighter so I'm gonna do Hourglass. The Too Faced concealer is kind of similar to this one so we'll save that and then, where is the brush? Okay, so then I have this concealer brush from e.l.f. Um, this is the Flawless Concealer. So again, everything will be linked down below. So if you're trying to look for these, you'll be able to easily find them. So I'm going to let this sit for a moment because it's really wet right now. And when I blend it, I don't want it all to be just on the brush. So we're going to give it a minute and then we'll go ahead and start blending. Okay, so I can tell it's starting to dry up. So I'm going to go ahead and start here and just blend it in. And I do like this brush. I have used it one other time. And so far, I really like it. Just wanna make sure, like I said, the concealer is not so wet. I've made that mistake before, like the concealer is so wet, so it's like moving and it's not like giving the coverage. So I promise y'all, once I really get the base perfected, I will do, uh, um, new make like a makeup everyday makeup look or like my go-to makeup once I see what this does and then I'm just blending this up because like I said I want the coverage and just dab it tap it kind of lightly and make sure you're not removing it so I think for me what I was doing a lot of times is removing a lot of the concealer so don't remove it just blend it in but don't pat it till you, it's not visible, y'all. Like that's, I think that's what I was doing wrong. And now I know to not do that so much. So, so there's that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the hourglass. I'm just gonna use the hourglass like under my eyes and like right above my lip, I'm not putting it all over. And then we're gonna just kind of let that dry in for a moment. So this one's a little bit lighter, so it'll give me more of a highlighted effect. And then, let's get our honey translucent powder out and actually y'all I need to put a little bit on my lids because I am I'm not doing no like fancy shadow but I'm gonna do a little bit of shadow so this I can blend out now though and then I'm gonna start again down here so it's drying up I feel like the hourglass concealer dries pretty quickly so okay and then just up under and again just tap lightly there I feel like that just looks so good so much more coverage y'all so the beauty blenders for me I mean I may use them for certain things but as far as my base I am gonna be using brushes much more often I'm gonna just take this Real Techniques brush. So before I start to bake, I like to pat it in first, then we can bake. So, looks a little crazy, but let's just leave it for now. So then I'm taking my Fenty Espresso stick so we can contour. So the brush I use to blend out the contour is the Elf brush. This is like a blending brush, like a buff. So I'm just gonna buff it in. Buff it up. Take a little bit more Mercier. 
Now, since we still have the baking powder on, I'm gonna go ahead and do whatever eyeshadow that I'm going to do, which again, is not gonna be anything crazy. So I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Chocolate Brown Palette. I'm using my Morphe M504 brush, and I'm just gonna take this warm brown, orangey kind of shade, and we're just gonna put that all over the lid and the crease. I'm gonna start over in the crease area and y'all this is all i'm gonna do because i am not like a shadow person anymore i really just like matte looks um unless it's like a special occasion or i'm getting my makeup done so y'all can kind of see it a little bit like i said it's just like a warm brown let's do the bronzer real quick Okay, so to put the bronzer on, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, and then this is, what is it, 4 Deep, and then this is like an old Real Techniques brush. I've had this for years, so I use one side for blush and one side for bronzer, so we're just going to bring that all around the forehead. We're going to take that same like Morphe brush, which is totally fine, we're going to take a little bit of that and just contour the nose a little so right up in here so now I'm going to go ahead and bring this out okay y'all so the trick that the makeup artist showed me is that you take this Laura Mercier ginger um, it's a blush and I'm gonna use my real techniques brush so it's very very light Hold on. it's a very very light shade and I'm gonna just take it on the brush, make sure I get enough that I can see it's on there, and we're gonna pat it up under here. So, what from what she explained, this is supposed to kind of intensify the highlight, but also, you know, of course, smooth you out. So, so far, I have no complaints with this. I feel like it does a good job, and it's like the perfect tone and sh shade. So, that I like let me see so y'all you can see here it's a little bit just so you can see kind of what it's giving it's a little bit better lighting so yeah okay we're gonna powder first then we're gonna go in with blush let me get my powder brush so just my powder brush and I'm just gonna go in the area go all around I'm gonna take my MAC Prep and Prime. Y'all, this is about to be done with, so I'm about to replace it soon. Okay. Boom. And after we do that, I'm gonna just clean up a little bit while this melts in, and then we'll go in with blush. All right, y'all, so I just put like a very light, light, light layer of mascara because I'm putting lashes on and um, some eyeliner, very, very thin line. So I'm gonna use my Chanel blush today. So this is called Run Rousey, 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 one of the two. And I'm gonna use my same brush that I used for um, my bronzer, but I'm gonna use the flip side, which as you can see is um, like pinky. So we're gonna put that on. I'm using this because this shade gives like a highlight effect as well. Just a little bit of shimmer. So we're gonna go in with that. Okay. Yep. So then we're gonna take a little bit of my Becca, Becca um, highlight and just put that above the lip. And then we're gonna just put a little bit on the tip of the nose and then a little down the bridge. Just a little, I know highlighter goes a long way. Then we're gonna do this. Then like I said, I know this lighting is not the best, but what I'm gonna do is actually put on my lashes and then maybe I'll show y'all, you know, I'll show y'all like up close of everything, the makeup, like um, probably in my bathroom or either I'm gonna just move around in the room because like I said, this lighting over here is not really giving. So let me get my lashes on and bottom mascara and lippy. For lippy, I'm just gonna do um, Kat Von D, my brown as usual. I'm gonna do my NARS All Yours. And I'm not sure if I want matte or glossy, so 
I'll do that part and then come back and figure out if we want to do um, gloss or not. So, yeah, I'll be back. So, y'all, I think I'm going to carry a bag I haven't carried in a while. I think I'm going to go with my Antigona for today. Definitely want to put her to use. I don't know when the last time I carried this bag. So, y'all, let's carry her today. Of course, y'all saw my new one, <laughs> which I didn't end up carrying when I thought I would, but... I have some upcoming outfits that is gonna be really cute for that bag. So she'll be getting whipped out pretty soon. And then since we are using an older bag, let's whip out a new accessory. So I'm gonna switch over to my new Saint Laurent card holder. So if you didn't see my luxury haul, here is my newest card holder in the light sage color from YSL. So I'll have it linked down below. And I'm gonna just be switching from Y'all know my favorite pink Gucci. She is starting to get a little bit rough, so it's time to switch it up. I must see how the cards fit in here. I really don't need all these cards, y'all, but let's just see. So this is what it looks like with my two cards in the front. And then let's go ahead and add those that's in the back. So again, don't really need all this stuff have about six cards in here well two three yeah about six and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some cash in so one of the things I will say about YSL's card holders they don't they don't always like open up that well so you're gonna have to stretch it out and really use it so um, it took a while to break my pink one in so that's just something I have to keep in mind so this is what it looks like, but just keep in mind, this is a little bit of a tighter fit. Y'all know my Gucci one. Um, I've just used it so much at this point that it is a little bit more stretched out. It has a little bit of damage, but not too much. So yeah, but that's what this one looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch everything over into the Antigona. And yeah, that is the bag and the card holder I'm carrying out today. All right, y'all, so let's pack the bag. So I don't have that much stuff. So I'm just going to start with my Louis Vuitton coin holder, even though I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be using coins for anything today. And then I have my Touchland um, hand sanitizer, y'all. I really like this, but for $9, eh, it's not like anything magical. It's just really cute. So if you're interested, get one, but it may not be something I buy a bunch more of. And then, of course, my card holder. And then later I'll go ahead and add in my, of course, my phone and my lippy and, you know, all that stuff. But that's what's in there. Y'all know the Antigona, even though it's mini, it does fit quite a bit of stuff. So this really didn't do any damage. So, yeah. So, y'all, I'm fully ready. I'm about to spray on my perfume. Just trying to clean up the stuff. Please ignore the, um smoke detector battery because I just put a ticket in I don't know why it just started going off literally about 10 minutes ago and that's so annoying so ignore that <laughs> but um fragrance for today I am going with the MFK gentle fluidity gold it's really pretty really warm um I don't think this is like the best summer scent but for whatever reason this is what I want to wear today I don't know why I guess because of my outfit, I'm going to show it to y'all. It's kind of like a blouse, a little crop, and some cute pants. So, the vibe of this outfit definitely matches. So, my hair came out pretty okay. Um, so, basically, I did the wash and go yesterday. And then I put it up. So, it's not like super full right now. It's kind of really, really defined. But, you know, because of the humidity and stuff, I appreciate that. And then, let me see to bring it so y'all can see the makeup so the makeup came out pretty good i think that i do have a more like full coverage look today i think so so yeah yeah it came out pretty good so i like that so i'm gonna kind of perfect my whole process and then i will film like a my go-to makeup look and maybe i'll do like a life update in that video yeah something like that all right, y'all, so we're all ready to head out the door. So I will see y'all in the car or at the restaurant. Homer hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches a set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. 
Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Chef Lee boot him on back. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block. Cause you know how sticky it get. Hey. 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 She want me to play with that cat. Hey. She love how I'm looking away. Hey. You know how sticky it get. Hey. Hey, yo, Eric. Bring them girls to the stage. Cause somebody's getting paid. And free big slime out the cage. Shorty try to play it cool, but now she wish she would've stayed. Cause Every song that I made is ringing like I got engaged. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't trade. Running cradle to the grave. Hey y'all, so I'm back home from brunch with Keiko. I don't even know if I even show her, y'all. I don't even know, but it's okay. Um, I, I really wasn't trying to do all that today. But um, I wanted to come back and give y'all a little review on um, Five Church Buckhead. So it's gorgeous in there. So it's definitely a place that I want to go back to at night because I just felt like the um, food for brunch wasn't all of that, y'all. Like it wasn't nasty or anything like that. It just wasn't really hitting, you know what I'm saying? So I think for me, I definitely would go back for dinner time versus brunch. I just had like a basic breakfast. So hash browns, grits, bacon and fruit um the bacon hash browns and gr uh not hash browns bacon grits and fruit was pretty good but the um hash brown bake i wasn't really feeling it needed more seasoning the drink though y'all the drink was fire so their drinks are good so that lets me know they probably just have a better dinner menu y'all know some places can't do brunch and breakfast that good so yeah i wasn't a fan of that but it was a great time me and her had fun we just obviously caught up you know with each other because i haven't seen her since dang since we went out in june for her birthday yes i haven't seen her for a while so yeah so that's kind of how that went so i'm back home like i said about to probably take this makeup off i'm gonna see what the hubby's trying to do but i don't think i need makeup on i think for dinner or lunch i guess you should say <laughs> i want some kava because like i said that was cool but i didn't really get full because it just wasn't really hitting so i just didn't eat everything but it was fine, um, but definitely would go back for dinner. Cause like I said, it's really pretty. They have valet right by, you know, right by Lennox. So it's super close. So yeah, so yeah, just wanna check in with y'all. So I'll come back in a little bit later. I see my little light is flashing. So battery's probably dying. So yeah, I'll check in with y'all in a little bit. y'all we just got back from kava and i wanted to show you our bowls so here's mine so i do chicken corn cucumber tomato pita chips um tzatziki sauce hummus and avocado cucumber if i didn't say that already and then my husband does the mixed chicken so the spicy chicken with the regular pickles tzatziki sauce corn tomatoes i think it's like a pico sauce basically 
feta and chips. So yeah, so that is our dinner for the evening. And I'll probably come back and check in with y'all a little bit later. Hey y'all, so it is much later. I'm about to get ready to just cleanse my skin, take a shower, and probably watch some movies and stuff with the hubby. So just wanted to come and close out the vlog with y'all while I do my little mini skincare routine. So this is just the fresh foaming cleansing, uh, what is it? Fresh foaming cleanser from Neutrogena. So now we are gonna rinse off. I probably should do a second cleanse, but I'm being lazy tonight. I don't feel like it, so it's all good. All right, and then for face cream tonight, I'm just gonna do the Charlotte Magic Cream. It's not that much in here, but this stuff kind of goes a long way, so. Very hydrating, and I like to use it at night. So y'all, my face is all clean and moisturized and I'm about to get ready to hit the showers. So thank you so much for spending the day with me. Please don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, share with your family and friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.